what's up people? Today we're going to be playing Pokemon Soul Silver. As this is the second day of Seven Dop. Uh we're gonna be playing against the Johto League today. So yeah. If you've already seen my drawing video, I should have posted up the drawing video first. Um that's also of the Johto League, so make sure to comment there. Um like, dislike, subscribe, and make sure to share the video. Let's try and get this up to 10 subscribers. Uh, Team-wise, we've got Tyranitar, Hyper Beam, Earthquake, and I can't see the other moves. Uh, Meganium, Flamethrower, Surf. And yeah, there's no point in team review. Basically, the Pokemon that I have on my team are the Pokemon that are listed next to the screen. So check them out for yourself. You'll see the moves when we battle battle the Elite Four when we're juking it out. Um, just, ah, brah. Yes. Let's get, once you enter this door, you'll be facing the Elite Four. You, are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, so, I should have posted up the, yeah, we're just switching out now. Yeah. Uh, should have posted up the drawing already, so, yeah. Please check that out. It mean a lot. Uh, and at last, I've been accepted into Elite Four. I'm only getting... Keep getting better. Losing is not an option. So I'm a bit all over the shop today. Don't know whether to do the narration or speak about my own shiz. Got challenged by Elite Four, Will. Bronzong. Yeah, so, how are you guys enjoying 7 Dop already? I know that it's going to be hard to compete with the Auras dem uh, demo. So used to say in the demo playthroughs because it's crazy that Auras is already out. Um, it's not out the time that I'm recording this, so that's why I'm used to saying Auras demo. And it's still not out the time that these videos will be uploaded as well because I don't live in America. You lucky bastards. Yes, for people who live in certain places in Europe, I don't know whether it's all of Europe, I made that crystal clear before. Um, we we won't get it until next week, which is the reason for these videos. So how are you enjoying 7 Dops so far? Kanto's already over, so we're going to be moving on to Hoenn next. And we've still got a good old four days left after that, so... Well, I don't want to speak about home for we still got like Johto. But, yeah. I feel it's going pretty smoothly. Um, one thing that I do want to apologise massively, mahusively for, is the incredibly awful audio issues. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's my camera, because it's my phone camera, and it's not the phone camera that came on the phone, it's a camera that I installed through the Play Store, which is called Cinema FV5, um, and I mean, I just noticed that sometimes when I do videos and that, pix random pixels will just appear, um, and I don't think, when I think when they get edited, they don't pick them up on the video, so it just skips that bit, and because of the file type as well, which is MXF, I think. Um, Adobe doesn't work well with it, or some, something like that. So the video kind of slows way down and it jumps and skips and all that kind of crap. But the audio remains fine. So the audio for the game is out of sync. The audio that I was um, recorded separately with a microphone is out of sync. The narration is out of sync. So, I mean, if you don't watch it, and if you just listen to the sound effects and my voice, then well, everything's all good. That should be in sync. Um, and I've tried my best to make some parts in sync. But, yeah, it just... It's not good. Uh, I am looking for a new camera. 
but I don't know what file types work best with Adobe in terms of exp like importing the files and stuff, like which ones are e like best for editing, um, which ones it works best with. So at the moment, I'm not sure. With it's like I've got an idea. I've, I'm thinking in my head that obviously I need some new sort of recording device. It's the kind of thing where you know that you need to change, but you really can't be bothered to. You you, ne you need to change, but you don't you just don't do it for whatever reason. I need a new camera, but I'm just not really doing. I'm not really making any efforts to change it. That's all, which isn't great um, because obviously I want my videos to be the best quality, and I mean they they're good quality. Uh, I've filmed them greatly. I've recorded the audio pretty damn well, I've narrated it like shit, but what are you going to do? I can't change that much. Hopefully I'll get better with time, um, but until then you're going to have to put up with this useless drivel. Um, oh. Koga. Waha! I'm Kogo the Elite Four and I live in the Shadows Ninja. My intricate cis style of confusion sleep poison prepared to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Waha! Pokemon are not merely about Bruce Force. Bruce Force. You heard it here first, people. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to try my best to get the audio sorted for when I do Auras playthroughs, which will be the 28th, which is only uh, five days away at the point that this video will be uploaded. Right now it's about 14 days away, so it's killing me slightly, but I'll get over it. I've still got... At this point, I've still got drawing to do, so I don't have time to be playing that shit anyway. Um, I know that I'm ruining the magic that you guys must believe, because whilst you're watching this, it's like, mm, but you're uploading the drawings. The drawings are done. What are you talking about? 14 days away. It's it's only five days away. But truth be told, I'm recording this on the 17th. So yes, yeah, good, good ways away for the game. Eleven days, not fourteen. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, full restore. You suck balls. Scum tank balls. But yeah, um, you still got time to get the Diance code. Just make sure to comment in the comments about anything. Just comment there. You don't need to say I want the Diance code. Just say blueberry sauce, and you could potentially get it. Oh man. Let me go back to narration though, because I'm sure you don't need to hear about 7 Dop much. All you need to know really is that it's going to be coming this next week, so be ready for it. Crobat, I will switch to Ampharos. Yeah, if you can't see the Pokemon that I've clearly put next to the screen, and you haven't seen all of the ones that I've got in my team yet, I have a Tyranitar Ampharos, Noctowl, and Fradigator, Typhlosion, Meganium. It's pretty good. I like my team.
it's just crazy that at the point that this video is going to be uploaded, there could possibly uh, people in America would be playing on Oras now, which is mental. It's just crazy to know that it's out. Speaking to people in the future, did we find out if there's a Mega Flygon yet? Because I'm still waiting on it at this point, and I'm going to be severely disappointed if Mega Flygon isn't out yet. I want a Mega Flygon. Only reason for getting the games for me. Super effective. Oh. Did I even use? Then I'm off. Keeping it classy. Noise. Wash that fool away with a psychic. Only realised after having a Noctowl on my team that it sucks so much. It's just the worst Pokemon ever. I thought I'd go with it because every single game that I've played now, I've gone with a team that I think the character would have, as opposed to well. A bit of both, really. Johto didn't really have any Pokemon that stood out as worthy to go in the team. The only ones really were, t like, the only good things to come out of Johto, really, Pokemon-wise, apart from the legendaries, would be Tyranitar, which is freaking awesome, and isn't done justice, as I said in my other video. So I don't need to go over this again. Um, and Ampharos, which is awesome stayed incredible since the game came out. Ah, you have proven your... something. I didn't read it fast enough. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Thank you, Ninja Man. Um... But yeah. Johto didn't really have anything good to offer, to be honest. Um, I don't know, I always thought that it was better than what it actually is, but like I say, those two are like the only ones that are great to come out of Johto. Um, and we and the starters as well are a given, but I guess Heracross is okay. Um, but I mean, nothing really stands out to be honest with Johto. People always moan about, um, like Unova and that. Um, I'll be m more specific. Like Black and White, the games and stuff. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I train every day. This is how we become champion. I'm prepared to battle. Ready, Ricky? You'll bow down to our. Hoo ha! Said the same thing last time, didn't it? Does anyone ever wonder what happened to Bruno? Because he was obviously, I mean, he's he's weak and shit, but apparently he was the, he's got to have been a really good Elite Four member, considering that he, he was the only one, apart from Lance, who managed to stay in the Elite Four for the next game. And then he disappears, off the face of the earth, you never see him again. I guess it's the same for Lance, really, because he was the leader of the Elite Four, he was then the champion, and then he's just gone. But Bruno's always been a mystery, because... 
see him in a fighting move. Fighting. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I just knocked the camera. Loads. Um. Sorry about that. He needs a fighting toy. And. Wait a minute. Noctowl's. I don't even know Noctowl. I think he's normal and flying. I don't think he's psychic, although he knows psychic moves, which is like the only reason to have a Noctowl, because he's like. One of the only. Pokemon to know psychic moves apart from the first gen. He's just useless though. I mean, it's a flying type, and he nearly died to a fighting move, and. Now he's dead. Case in point, really. I forget what I was. Bruno! Where did Bruno go? I don't think I really need to speak more on that point. That's. It was just. Question. Um, but yes. Yeah, people always go on about the Unova Pokemon, like Trubbish and stuff. But, it had good ones as well, like the Zorork. Zorok is like one of the coolest Pokemon that there is, and that was Gen 5. Um, trying to think of some others. It's really hard. I mean, the legendaries are pretty cool. Zekrom was incredible. Uh, Zeb, Stri Zeb Striker or Streaker. That was a really awesome Pokemon. It was electric, and it was a Zebra. Which is always good. I can't remember if it was strong or anything. Um, Mushana. I remember that being pretty good. An actual decent psychic type. And it was a wall. From what I remember. Um, Excadrill. Was just awesome. He dug stuff. His ground. This is great. Hydreigon. A three-headed dragon, which is what everyone's been waiting for, if everyone is like me. Um, which I hope you're not. Because we could do with less me's. And, uh, yeah, apart from the fact that it was kind of like, I think it was like a flower. Oh, cause in Hydrangea... I don't know the name of the flower. Hydrangea, something like that. But it was a dragon flower thing. But it was dark in dragon, so that's always cool. Uh, Haxorus. I didn't like Haxorus as much, but it beats most of Johto Pokemon hands down. Um... Here I am doing a Johto League playthrough and completely bitching about Hoenn. Hoenn? Johto. I'll bitch about Hoenn tomorrow. Today's Johto's day to get it. I'm just gonna... Let me check through the Johto Pokedex now. Just to see if there's anything... Sorry about that. Just to see if there's anything that is actually worthwhile. Apart from the ones that I've already listed. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like Haxorus. But Axew and Fracture were... I think that's oh, that's how I pronounce them. They were pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Um, Chandelure. That was cool. Leovane, I didn't really like it, but it was, doesn't really make make much yeah, make much sense. Make much sense. Uh, as I didn't, it was okay. It was fine. Joltic. 
Joltic was cool. And comparing that to Ariados, I think Joltic's a lot cooler. Uh, Joto, I mean, we've got Ferret, don't need that. Um, Ledian looked freaking awesome, but it's a bug, so it's never going to be good. Eridos, Crobat, oh, I think that that's actually pretty decent to have. But the whole friendliness thing was always a bitch. Um, Dunsparce, we don't need to go over that. Quagsire, uh, Water and Ground, so that was awesome against electric types. Until you meet a grass type and then you're screwed. Unknown, no. Steelix, decent after Onyx. Jumpluff, Politoed, Sloking, Blossom. Foratress. I thought Foratress was steel. It's just bug. Oh, we beat Bruno. Sorry. I'm... Having lost that, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenger. Hoo ha! Uh, Sudo Wudo, Wobbuffet, Sizzle. Sizzle was cool. Uh, again, bug type. So, you're not going to have much chance. But I mean, Scytho is awesome as well. So, I mean, it, it's probably worth having on your team, just for the look of it. Grand Bull, no. Stantler, no. Hitmontop, I think, was pretty good. Miltank was a beast, especially Whitney's Miltank, which everyone always moans about how, like, hard it is to beat, but I'd didn't really have any tr I've never really had any trouble with Meltank to be honest. Zatu I'm not happy with Zatu. Shuckle. A lot of these aren't even worth mentioning. Corsola, Remoraid, Octillery. Uh Lantern was pretty cool. I never had one, but a water and electric type is cool and it looks pretty sweet as well. Ooh, Espion and Umbreon. I guess they were decent ones. Um, Gligar, no, Delibird, Pillar Swine, Ursaring, Donphan, Donphan is a good poke, I guess there are more than, um, the few that I thought there were, Donphan's awesome, uh, Houndoom, poor man's version of Arcanine, I'm Karen of the Elite Four. You're Ricky. How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overwhelming tactics. Think you can take them? Let's go. Yes, let's. Quack. Magcargo, no. Sneasel, no. Mistrevious, no. Porygon, too. Porygon was bad enough. Blissey. Guess that's a wall, but I'm not competitive, so I don't care. Uh, Tyranitar, like I mentioned, and that's it. So yeah, I mean, people go on about Unova, but I had no problem with it, really. There are a lot of piss-poor ones, but... Johto had a lot more, let's say. I still like Jozo though, um, but move, going back to how this conversation even started, that's the reason why I have a Noctowl on my team. Although I could have filled that spot up with a Donphan and that would have been awesome, but I think Donphan was Heart Gold exclusive, so thus the reason why I have no Donphan. And, unless that's bullshit and that I have no reason for not having a Donphan.
I'm going to stop moaning about Johto now, though, because it's okay. It's the best for, for um, post-game. Always wanted them to do another one where you can travel to the different regions. That'd be awesome. But they've got so many now that if they did, it would probably be ridiculous. But they've done the next best thing with these Mirage spots in the new game. With um, all of the different legendaries. That's the best idea that they've had since being able to fly to different routes. Which is also in this game. Uh, the fact that you can actually fly in the sky and battle in the sky. Uh, like bump into actual sprites, I believe. That's incredible, and that's also in the same game. But again, enough with the new game and stuff. Let's let's talk about this. Let's just do the narration. We've got a hand doom. We're going to use surf. Obvious spamming move, just as good as flamethrower, and always works on like everything. Surf is just boss of a move and damn straight it's super effective he's winning itch we're getting that xp Absol. we got this we can surf it out this is far from being backed into a corner You're gonna wish wash your Absol. It's a bit late to pick up a mineration now, considering we've only got one more person to beat. See again, Surf pulls through. Well, aren't you good? I like that in the trainer. Mm. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. There's the only selfish conception of trainers. Truly, I like your style. Go on, the champion is waiting. We're going to face off against Lance now. We've got to be ready. For Alligator's got to be in tip top shape because he's the only one with an ice move, I think. With his uh, ice fang. The rest of the team should be okay, though. I think he's got a Gyarados, so I'll play it because usually people who have Gyarados use Gyarados first, so I'll play it safe with Ant for us. Uh, I do like this room, it's pretty cool. Lance's sprite always looks all... I've been waiting for you. Ricky, I knew that you with your skills will eventually come here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the strongest Pokemon trainer. A powerful trainer as you. Hi, Lance the Dragon Master. Something. I didn't read it. Yeah, but, uh, again. His sprites don't do him justice. His, um... Like the sprite that you see in the game... Oh, that's not a Gyarados. The sprites that you see in the gameplay is, like, cool. Like, he's got spiky red hair and shit, and he's cool. Um, but, like, the pictures that you find on Bulbapedia and that, they look awful. I mean, that sprite then, that looked pretty cool, but... It's just... The drawings of him look... Bad. It's not what you'd imagine, Lance. Yeah, Salamence is pussy and off. Oh, great. Fantastic. Better switch. Not ready for this earth shit. Give uh, Meganium some love because I don't think it's been out yet. I know it has been out once, I think. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, thank God. A lot of gods. Petal dance. This won't kill it because it's dragon as well, so... I've got no hope. I've got a bit of hope. No, it's not. Well, we showed Meganium a hell of a lot of love because now it's dead. So that's always good. And 30 minutes have passed. This is going to be a very long video. 
maybe even longer than the first video, which is bad, because... Yeah, he wasn't ready for that ice fang. Soccer. He's dead. Um. Yeah, I wanted to keep him. There's the Gyarados. Yeah, um. I wanted to kind of keep him short and sweet. I thought I'd be able to defeat the Elite Four faster than this, but. I guess not. Twice in a row now, and. It's taken us maybe 40 minutes each time. Quite appalling, really. Don't die. Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, we've still got Tyranitar, he's got Thunderbolt, so... Let's we'll switch out to him. After we mourn the death of Ampharos. Poor guy. He lost against the water movers. The most embarrassing way to die. That's what I'm talking about. Tyranitar, man. What a what a Pokemon. He doesn't resemble the dinosaur that much, though. I think. I mean, he might not even. He might not be meant. This isn't making sense. He might not even be a dinosaur. It's just, I think, from Tyrant. I think Tyrannosaurus instantly, but it's probably more like Tyrant. Uh, I don't know what animal he's supposed to be. He looks like Godzilla. That's not an animal, so he can't be that. I'm gonna say he's a dinosaur. He's some kind of big lizard thing. That's bullshit, man. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. See, so, yeah, and that's why Tyranitar is incredible. Whipping up that sand stream. And the onslaught begins with his. Has he only got one? Dra I think he's only got one Dragonite, maybe. I know that if he has two, this is the strongest. I think he has two before um, he goes Kanto. And then when you fight against him again, he's only got the one because by then he's got dragons from other gems. Because um, the first one would be modelled after his first team that he had in silver and gold and considering that there's only like I think there's only one dragon well one dragon chain like the teeny dragon air and dragon eyes um, I know that he has Aerodactyl and Charizard because they resemble dragons um, Draco Meteor Quite possibly my favourite animated move. Um, oh shit! Alligator's gone, so my ice beam is now gone as well. And now he's going to use full restore, and that's why Tyranitar sucks. Um, yeah, in X and Y, the the animation's already cool enough for each of the moves, but my god. Draco Meteor, it looks incredible. It's like a summon or something from Final Fantasy. And I haven't even played Final Fantasy, but I've seen him. And that's what I imagine it to be like. Yeah, this is like the ultimate battle, the ultimate face-off at the moment. Tyranitar v Dragonite, because they're like the coolest, kind of like the coolest Pokemon of their um, generation. I mean, I, I don't rate Dragonite that much. It's pretty cool, but 
it looks too happy-go-lucky for a dragon. I want more dragons like mean and fierce, like Salamence, uh, High Dragon, although. Um, <laughs> sucker. If he wants a hyper beam battle, we're gonna give him a hyper beam battle. Let's see what our hyper beam does compared to his measly one. Now that that's a hyper. You call that a hyper beam? That was a hyper beam. Um, where were we? Yeah, uh, going off the, the, um, basically I like Flygon as well. I was trying to say, like, it's completely different from what I was saying because I like more dragons, like, mean and fierce, like, a dragon, three heads, um, Salamence, like, that's what I imagine a dragon to be like. Not Mega Salamence, that's a, that's a plane. It's a stealth jet. That's what Mega Salamence is. It's ridiculous. It's a joke. But I'll still get it. Um, but yeah, I think my favourite dragon is probably Flygon. Because Flygon's just cool. And it's like, you get Trap Inch. It's like a little sand trap eater thingy. I don't know what it is. But it's... Alright. And you just don't expect it to. I mean, it goes into Vibrava and it's like this bug looking thing. And it's like, it's pretty cool. But, I mean, when you catch that trap in, like, without. If it was your first time ever playing on, um. Like Ruby and Sapphire and stuff, and you didn't know the evolution chains. When you first catch a trap inch, the last thing you're going to expect it to go into is this big ass dragon thing. And then it just surprises you with a bitch ass Flygon. And Flygon is just awesome. It's like, one of my favourites. Uh, along with Tyranitar and Zorok, because those Pokemon are just awesome. Um, but yeah, Dragonite just doesn't really do it for me. It's like it's fat and it's skin coloured and its wings are small and he looks like he's smiling and he's got big, big eyes, big googly eyes. It's like it's hard to be scared of it. Like this guy, for example. How is this a dragon? It's a chicken. A chicken with cloud wings. That's not fearsome. It's double team is though, because if this is anything like Lorelei's Dugong's double team, then we're in for a treat waiting for this. I really hope that this double team doesn't screw me over because we're already we're already on 40 minutes. Oh come on. Kill it. Come on. Oh. Yeah, we're already on 40 minutes, so I don't really feel like missing my moves and stuff, so then we end up spending like two hours to do just beat Lance's last Pokemon. I never give up no matter what, you must be the soup. Oh yeah, we're gonna finish this with half boom. I'll take him out. Yeah. Sweet. Let's hurry through the text now because we need to get out of this. It's over, but it's not feeling I'm not happy that I lost the fact I'm feeling happy. You're happy that I witnessed the rise of a new champion. We're getting bare monies. Woo. You have be truly become truly that powerful, Ricky. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Huh? Oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Oh yeah, Ricky, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the league is just 
Remarkable, your dedication, trust, and love for Pokemon made it possible your Pokemon were outstanding too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they persevered. Congratulations, Ricky. Let's interview the brand new trainer. Champion, this is, this is, come with me. Oh wait, I, we haven't done the interview. Bad man. It's been a long time since I came here. This is where we commemorate the champions, the courageous Pokemon are inducted. Here today we witness the results of a new champion, trainer who feels compassion for a trusted royal Pokemon. The trainer who succeeded in Rupert's words and donation. Lance, what the fuck, man? That hurts my throat. Right, um, I was gonna say thanks for watching, but this goes on for a while, so I'll thanks, say thanks for watching in a bit. Uh, um, I apologise for my narration, I really hope that it gets better with time, because at the moment it's kind of iffy, I did kind of speak about nothing for quite a while. Uh, better than not speaking at all in some cases. In this case, probably not. I probably should have just shut up. But, um, yeah, and I ranted about Johto quite a bit whilst doing a Johto playthrough, so not not the best. But, it's what I do. I'll try and make it better for the next vid, guys. But, this should be the last video going on for today. Um, so let's say goodbye to day two of 7 Dop and hello to Hoenn tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to share the videos. Try and get that up to 10 subscribers. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.